Old Elk did it again. They sent me another bottle to review, so let's go ahead and get into it. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad and today Old Elk sent me a really cool little package. They reached out to me a few weeks ago and asked if I wanted to try uh, one of their bottles that is a port cast finished bourbon and I was like absolutely they said cool we'll be sending a sample out soon what's your address confirm my new address with them and I got a little package and as I opened it this little letter was in there and the package was kind of big and I was expecting just a sample but no they sent an entire bottle of this to me which is crazy generous so thank you to old elk uh, I actually have already recorded this video and I realized that I didn't turn on my, my microphone so there was no audio, so I'm having to redo it again. So up to this point, until my last week, about 15 minutes ago, I hadn't tried it yet. But I have tried it, but I'm gonna give you my thoughts as if I haven't tried it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, this goes for any distillery out there, anybody who ever sends me anything. If you send me a bottle to review, I am not going to just automatically like it. That's not how reviews work, that's not how I operate. So just a heads up that just because I'm reviewing this, that does not mean that it has tampered my expectations or changed my review of it. If I bought this, I would feel exactly the same way. I always pretend like I bought it and paid the retail price for it, whatever that is. Uh, for this bottle, I'm not exactly sure. But I act like I paid for it with my own money, and that's how I go about reviews. Before we get into the nosing here, this is a five-year-old bourbon that is then put into port barrels and finished in those barrels for a certain amount of time. We don't know exactly. I'm gonna reach out to them and see how long so they'll let me know. And then if I if I was able to get an answer with them, you'll see it down here in the video below. So let's go ahead and give this thing a nosing and see how we feel about it. First off, the nose is just absolutely delicious. So the closest thing that I can compare this to uh, is Midwinter's Night Dram Act 11. Even though that is a rye finished in port barrels, and this is a bourbon finished in, in port barrels, they're, they're different. But the nose is very familiar. However, the rye spice that you get on the Midwinter's Night Dram makes it seem a little more Christmassy, whereas this is kind of a, I could drink this any time of the year and be happy. Kind of smells, doesn't smell like Christmas, it just smells like a really solid, really solid bourbon. It reminds me a lot of, uh, on the nose of E.H. Taylor Small Batch, but there's like this grapey note that I'm really loving. And I also, on the issue of so much, I get a lot of green apple, which I don't get on this. This is, but it just reminds me of that, like, kind of great note that I get on the EHC or small batch. But the vanillas and the caramels are in there, too, but that grape note is just blowing my mind. It smells so good. Those are really rich caramels. Some of the, some bourbons are, like, kind of like a weaker caramel. This is, like, a really strong caramel. It's really nice. It smells so, so good. It smells sweet, but not like put up, like so sweet it's like put up, it puts you off. It just smells really, really nice. This is inspiring me to do my top 10 bourbons on the nose video, because this is probably going to be on that list, because it smells, it's so good. It smells so complicated and complex. It's just really solid. But enough about the nose, let's take a sip and see how we feel. Oak spice. Caramel, and then it finishes with this like great Jolly Rancher note. Oh, it's so good. Now, finished bourbons are not everyone's thing. Even myself, admittedly, I don't love them. There are very few and far between that I actually really enjoy, and this is actually one of them. Uh, I, I know I got this bottle for free from Old Elk, however, if I see another one of these, I'm gonna back up of it because it's really, really good. So, uh, everyone's palate is different. That is just my opinion. I'm not a huge finished bourbon fan. I, I tend to like the port barrels more than other things, but it just really works. Like, it's just, it's just very, very well done. So, shout out to you, Old Elk. This is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you again for being very generous and sending me that bottle. I appreciate it very much. It's really good. I would love to do a single barrel pick of this if that is ever an option. Uh, I know you guys will be watching this video, so if that's a thing that can happen, I would love to put my dumb name right on that bottle. Uh, I would put my name on that. That's delicious. And I see why it made uh, Whiskey Advocate top 20 most interesting or exciting whiskeys of 2023. It deserves it. It's very good. I'm very impressed. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried Old Elk Port Cast Finish. I'd love to know if you liked it, if you didn't like it. What did you like about it? And while you're down there, leave a like and subscribe. We are very, very close to 700 subscribers. And when we hit 1,000, I'm going to have a giveaway that I haven't announced yet. It's going to be a blast. 
Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers.